Hi, it's Dave D. And uh, today I'm going to report on a uh, device I'm building. And you see it before you. It's uh, essentially the uh, raw prototype of a home heater. And uh, it uses HHO or hydrogen and oxygen separately. And we'll test it both ways to see how this works. Uh, for today, I'm uh, not able to actually test it because we don't have the electronics for handling the ignition of the hydrogen within the device. But uh, this is the hydrogen reactor. It's a um, monatomic hydrogen reactor and it has two different uh, plugs. One is a, uh, uh, I guess you'd call it a hydrogen plasma injector plug. The hydrogen actually goes right through and enters the plug. And we'll scoot around here and get a closer look how that sets up. Okay, hydrogen enters right there. And uh, a plasma ignition by Aaron Mirakami will provide the plasma arc that will fire off within the reactor chamber which is the heavy duty chamber there. It's about uh, it's about an inch thick of steel taking no chances and uh, then there is a secondary outlet and this outlet let's see if we can get a peek, peek at it let's see right there. Whoops, nope, right there. Okay, that is where the oxygen can come in and that can be plugged off and uh, just use ambient air uh, with a vent uh, to allow air into there. But that tends to explode the hydrogen. <laughs> uh, within the chamber we have, uh, it's filled with catal catalyst in a platinum screen and uh, well, it's actually not a platinum screen. It's a stainless steel screen. Ideally, it would be platinum. And this reactor, the heat uh, exchanger, is attached to the tall, um, I guess you'd call it a uh, infrared heating device. It's essentially filled with sand and um, a salt mix in a stainless steel uh, center um, tube that's uh, fillable and the hydrogen then the uh, combustion of the hydrogen will take place and flow right through the sand heating this up and exit the top and there is a cap that goes with this and the cap will take the water vapor from the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen and it will condense it and it'll flow down into a reservoir. So uh, that's the setup. Uh, the power for the device, the uh, hydrogen generator, is a PEM 1000, which I sell. It's a very reliable uh, unit, uses proton exchange membrane and uh, distilled water, and there's no electrolyte. So this is very safe to breathe. You can, <laughs> there's only water vapor is the only exhaust at all. There's no, uh, there's no live particles or anything else. You could use this for health, uh, or it's also safe as a, an appliance in the household. So uh, that device uh, puts out a considerable amount of pure hydrogen and also pure oxygen in that two to one ratio that you find in water. So uh, that's. The device we're building, this is obviously just a prototype, doesn't have a case, doesn't have any mountings. Um, I could fire this off. I, I have fired it off and it makes a, about a three inch uh, flame that shoots out from that little hole there. But this uh, cap is actually replaced and this unit attaches directly to the base. So that goes off, the cap comes off and it ties into there 
and then the reaction takes place right in this heat exchanging cylinder. So uh, we are looking for, oh, you'd call it uh, early adopters. If you're interested and you have building skills or di distribution skills, uh, you'll be able to donate and be on the list to receive the rights to, to manufacture this uh, unit. And we'll have it all simplified with all the prototype drawings and everything down to a, uh, a retail version that is ready to go that you can build. and uh, Or you can distribute it uh, if you're not into building. So uh, only those people who uh, donate to get this thing built and put together uh, in a good fashion for the market will be notified when it's time to uh, purchase a unit and as part of the purchase of the unit you'll also get the manufacturing and distribution rights. So uh, stay tuned, look for the donate button. Anything over $10 will qualify you to go to the next step. Thank you, Dave D. Over now.